Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last episode, we got, um, we got quite a bit of, uh, intel, to be honest, um, on a bunch of different things. Um, we got intel on, uh, you know, what the Mafia is, what they want with people, what they're trying to do, they're trying to do dr drug deals, stuff like that. Um, and this episode, we'll find even more about that stuff, it'll get more interesting, um, but I'd like to go here and see if there's anything, um, mm -hmm. yeah, sure, I'm gonna return that now. I don't even remember what it, what it is, but, okay. Let's get Guy MacGyver. And then we're going to watch it. Too bad there's not like a like a speed watcher movie. You know, like other speed reader. You know. Get it? Anyway, okay. Um, yes, I did. <laughs> That's okay, you don't have to laugh. We need to do something fast. It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See? The acid and the sugar are reacting. This is a story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and wow. in in ingenuity. He fixed that tank's track with chocolate? How does he stay so calm when he's not like that? Hey, hey! Hmm. Alrighty. Makoto. I received. Oh, this is invoiced. I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. There aren't any... They aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. They're unforgivable. I don't know why that scene is in voice. That's kind of odd. Whatever. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? You with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. So we're in our extra little lessons, more like ten days. To be yeah, to be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this. I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be, m I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some um, kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. <laughs> uh, okay. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> well then. 
well then. Sorry to bother you while you are expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? Uh, it seems the one who posted about it, his brother is a student at my school. And so after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh right, I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. Indeed, now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Maki Makigami. You're just freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. And you haven't even and you haven't even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in mementos. This burglar burglar guy isn't gonna be near as, as scary as the mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a fan of thieves really about. It seems we are unanimous then. We can further discuss the details at the hideout. Hmm. We have our target. We also have the mafia to deal with too. So make sure the time. Right. All right. Again, we're getting a lot of requests, and apparently we have today free. Um, Yusuke, I can, but is there anything else that would be more important? Is either Ryuji or Takami? Um, yes, I actually will hang out with Yusuke. But first, I'm gonna go to the library to see if there's any other books I can rent out. Oh. Uh, okay, fine. If I'm still reading it, then whatever. Um, alright. Let's. Yeah. Let's hang out with. Yusuke, then, I suppose. Okie dokie. Uh huh, you must have a wealth of free time in your May I get a word? I would like to speak with you. Ken, do you have time? Yes, I do have time, in fact. We should paint a dream world. The abyss of heaven. Ah, uh, I see. Mementos. The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Alright, we're going to Mementos now, apparently. Oh. This distortion realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications, but I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the, preserv the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me, and from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist, and if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's dep depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality, doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? What's the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Uh, no. I'm just kinda getting bored. Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm. This, the lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. Hmm. <laughs> yes, inspiration has struck. That must be it. Such brilliant composition. Ah, oh, my heart races. Oh, you just... You just created a shadow, I think, uh, Yusuke. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just, like, summoned a bunch of shadows. Great job. Um, alright. So, yep. Go down. Oh, he Let's is go. shocked. Interesting. I'm actually gonna do Vicious Strike, because that'll do a lot. Unless that happens. Then I guess it won't do much. Yep, and they're all basically gonna self-destruct. And you get I hope they don't kill you, which they won't. I don't think. I've never died at this part. 
Yeah, we didn't die. But we came close though, that's for sure. Alright, and we got a blank card too, which is nice. It seems I've become too passionate. Yeah, it's so passionate you created a shadow. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. Theo? Who's Theo? I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Oh, I, how am I supposed to know Van Gogh's brother? In his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. That's true. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Uh, yeah, it's the blank card of the shadow draft. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? Sure, if you want. <laughs> I don't know what he's drawing. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. What do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Yeah, we can. My picture turned into a real skill card? This will definitely be useful. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Mm -hmm. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Um, yeah, sure. I guess let's do it. It's a deal then. Sounds good. I can sense these guys trusting me. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. So, Yusuke's confidant is quite useful because with him you can make a duplicate of a skill card or make an entirely new skill card now you can't choose what skill card you make or it's basically luck you, you but you can't choose what um skill card you can make but hey it's still pretty useful that you can make a skill card yep and that's basically explaining what he just said we've done enough for today i've completed a rough sketch i'll finish this back at the door i'll contact you once it's done In your death. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say, I never expected my art skills would ever improve useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform to the best of my ability. You only need to ask. Alright. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I could not have finished today's piece. Now, we should be heading back. I have to apply finishing touches as soon as possible. <laughs> for the first time in a long while, my brush would be dance again. See you. I don't know what he means by my brush will dance again, and I never have understood what that meant, but whatever. My phone is going off. The journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? I mean, I guess it's not like I'm doing anything else tonight. Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Uh... What's Shinjuku like? Let me see. I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. For adults. Well, I'm not an adult, but... You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? 
That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies. I don't, I don't have the money to take the train there. And then you're on standby too. Me and Ken will go, okay? Alright. If Ken's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. <laughs> You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. I mean, you kind of do stand out though. Like you, you, so? you. I thought this is normal. You look like a high school kid, basically. I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look, it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Yep. Don't won't be my worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Is this really going to be okay? Who knows? All right, so I forgot everything of what um, Ryuji said. Is it this way? I don't huh? think so. You sure? Yeah, JL. I don't even remember where JL is. Is it out? Is this JL? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I should so Shinjuku, another place um, that we. I think there's three. Yeah, no, two confidants that open up at Shinjuku that we can go that we can initiate. Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around so much. You look like tor tourists. I was just trying to find the pl that place we're looking for. Crossroads bar is right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Me? Welcome to Izayaki. How about some all-you-can-drink booze on sheep? Wait, you're underage. Uh, no, I am not. Oh, in that case, come in for an hour or two. Hey. How did you get caught up in this? Come on, ignore him. And there is somewhere. Just kidding. Never mind. There's a woman over here later on. Hey man, you want to come play? Touch all, touch all you want. No added fees. We have the cutest girls in town too. I gotta find out about this. Did you really just ask that? Mm, just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter which way you cut it, he's a shady kid. <laughs> all right. The bar. You have a. You have a moment? Are you a student? Oh, he's voice. You shouldn't be out this late. I'm... I'm a college student. Oh, yeah. We're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. This is bad. Shoot! This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea! Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Well, it is your fault that you decided to wear school uniform to this place. Cool. Okay. Excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. <laughs> More of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Okay, Mrs. Fortune Teller. Thank you, I suppose. Or maybe Miss Fortune Teller. I don't know if you're married or not. So the bar is right. Yep, here. Whoa, man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Yep. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. 
Yep. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught. Well, you should too. you should stay out here. You guys, wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in. Well, you didn't. You you shouldn't have wear a new school uniform. Somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Yep. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? <laughs> Hello there, Oya. Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? I apologize, my headset was being weird and I had to adjust it, but then I accidentally muted my mic, so then it was like, you couldn't hear what I was saying. Okay, um, I need, or that, I guess I was trying to say I, have, I want intel on their boss, but I could tell you, but I accidentally did that. Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. I see. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? Do I? Uh, why are you asking me? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. Oh? I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the phantom thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Uh-huh. Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if... Oops. You know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Um, yeah, I guess I know someone. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. Okay. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Okay, Morgana, you need to stop, like, being inflated. <laughs> being inflated. Where did that come I was just saying, have an inflated head, but then I said, uh, uh, but then I was going to say, be self full of yourself, and then it just came out of stop being inflated. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. I see. Lala Chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. Yeah. You leave right after you finish your water. I don't, yeah, water only, that is. Yes! Alright, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. Oh, he just probably texted me right now. Yep, how'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. Is that kind of open area you passed on your way to the bar? So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. All right, sounds good to me. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> I'm tired of waiting. You getting any dirt on the next target? For real? Junior kind of Shiro? Not so loud. Junior kind of Shiro. And enter. 
There we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Alright, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. This is totally crazy, though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Ooh, you're right. You really would be natural. But a graphic tee with plastic plants? Ugh, kill me now. What, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm angel straight out of heaven. I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa. Wait, hey. It's not like that. Dude, help. Tell him we're just investigating something. Knock him dead. <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here like this? Come on, your best friend's in trouble here. Oh, honey, you've got the ch ch chupaza and those cheekbones. I love it. That's where it takes to put to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights, and I know just the dress for you. Um. Well, uh, hopefully Ryuji finds us calling her. At least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? Up. Oh, what did they? Uh, Ryuji was not no longer there after that. What, what did they take him or something? Did you find any clues? Yep, we have a name. You did? You did it. Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from the conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll be figured out when he takes his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. Oh, that was surprising. Ryuji easy. got kidnapped by those guys. Hey, some girl messaged me about saying you told her about me. She says she's interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Uh, you'll see. That's what I'll say. Don't tease me. I'm gonna lose sleep over this, Oya-san. She said she wanted to talk. How much forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it is? Could it be? You'll find out. Man, I am so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You you introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you, and I'll totally let you know if you do. <laughs> so I probably can't do much of anything, I'm assuming. Um, oh, we can. Well, let's make nothing, actually. We're not, we're not, yeah. We're... No, stop. What's up? Stop. There we go. Oh. Yeah, let's finish reading this. Reading this, watching this rather. Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. That's a story about a man. Yeah, I know. We already mm. went over that. And the Morgana sits like a person and it looks funny. Mm. And then I increase my proficiency and then we go to bed and then we go to the palace. <laughs> Okay. Well then. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I, I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay. I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav, and just as expected, it's a hit. Mm -hmm. All we need now are the two other key words. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we yep. don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever key words we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? I don't know if a garden. No, yeah. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. Money bath? Nope. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Um, a yeah, a bank would make sense, actually. That'd make a lot of sense. Yeah, he's all about money, right? Okay, that's a hit. Why wouldn't it be a bank? He thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. 
I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? I guess so. What location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? Maybe? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. Yeah. The hell are you talking about? No, I get it. I get what he's saying. A bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more. But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. Yeah. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. You do? Huh? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. All of Shibuya? The entire town? What? Like, the entire city? Wow. I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. What are you calling us trash now? In that case, let's go. All right. Beginning navigation. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. All right. Well, okay, let's go. Here is the third palace. Kinda, sorta. Like, it's, we're not really in a palace. But we have the ideas. But yeah, look, like, it's like everything. What I find interesting is here, everything is walled off by money. Hey. Look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. <laughs> uh, uh, do these guys even have mouths? <laughs> Excuse me, can we? Uh, please forgive me. What happened? I, I don't have any more, please. I'm telling you, not even one oh, yen. Man. Whoa, cool. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end like the others. Were you assaulted? Eek! <sighs> and there's no doubt he's a victim, but you can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Um. Yeah, this is walled off, too. Yeah, see, look. I find it interesting that all this is walled off by, like, money. Perhaps. Are those... This is terrible. All these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Well, they're dead. Damn it! All these guys are Kaneshiro's victims. That would appear to be the case, but there is nobody we can speak to, let alone a bank anywhere. Let's let us try checking around the station once more. We may have overlooked something important. Um. Well, like what else is there? We already talked to that guy. The guy over here. Oh, look, do you think that person's a victim, too? Hey. Excuse me, can we have a word? We are... It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. Can't you tell? I've fallen. Fallen so far. From a place where Kaneshiro leaves. Leaves no tracks. What do you mean? Hmm. What could that mean? 
Okay, you gotta tell us a little more than I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. It doesn't look like this one's going to say anything. Kanashiro leaves no tracks. Does he mean that literally, or could it be figured? Hey. Hey, we don't want to go. We don't. Why don't we go over the the intel we have right now? Hmm. They don't. They apparent. They have apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second. They've fallen from a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks. Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere up uh... high? Or what? You mean like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of those around here. I don't think. Wait, what's that? Is that it? Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. <sighs> we gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! Why do we have to run for it? It's not like anybody's trying to, after us trying to kill us unless there is that I don't know of. I have a new message from Oya. Evening. That woman who reeks of alcohol. You free? Uh, yeah. All right, I have a bit of advice for you. It's about the kind of Shiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say any more than that. Shady connections. Interesting. He's not some uh, somewhat a teenager like you should mess with. You really should back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See you. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> well then. All right, so I'm going to. God, we have nine days, and we but, but we're making progress. You know, we have nine days. We just found his palace. Everything is cool. I'm gonna end this do it. episode here. Um, next time, uh, a, a lot is gonna happen next time, um, you know, story-wise, but I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time with a brand new episode of Let's Play Persona 5, bye everyone.